Hello everyone, I'm Sam Didier. I'm an artist and art director at Blizzard Entertainment, and today we're gonna show you how to draw an arc, all right? Let's get started. First, we're gonna start with his eyeballs. Now, orcs are monsters, so they don't necessarily need to line up the eyeballs if you don't want to. In fact, we'll probably chop one out uh, for this demo. Nothing too gross, but just to show you how cool uh, orcs can look when they're a little bit beat up and all that, okay? So there's a couple eyeballs. Let's get in and start doing some little loops here. No, these aren't loops. These are nostrils, right? Orcs gotta breathe. Okay, so they have kind of like a nose like a gorilla. It's kind of pushed in like a bulldog sort of squat. You know, I actually got a bulldog uh, because I liked orcs so much. That was one of the choices and why I wanted a bulldog. So there we go. There's a quick sort of eye and nose sort of thing. Now, this is the fun part. This is where a lot of basic shapes will really start to define how the orc looks. So we're gonna do these big kind of triangle things here, right? These are his big old cheekbones. You know, orcs are very lean, very muscular. There's not a lot of fat on them. So they have very high, uh, sharp cheekbones, as well as kind of big, high brows, right? You can see their brows, really nice. Now, uh, this is the fun part with the orcs, okay? So orcs, they're all about having big mouths and roaring with tusks and fangs. So we're gonna give him a big old mouth. Ooh, look at that, kind of grumpy looking dude. It's okay, orcs are a little bit foul tempered sometimes. All right, so this is the fun part. We're gonna just draw some, some tusks on him. Now these are basically just doing big old triangles, right? So what's kind of fun is they don't need to line up necessarily. Like, so we got this one here. We could make this one even bigger or we could bust this one off like he is in a battle or something like that. So we'll give him some more teeth. Doesn't really matter if they line up or not because orcs are big, wild bruisers and brawlers. So we want them to look a little beat up. All right, look at that. That's like some bad teeth there. All right. So we got that. That's a little line under the nose. I forget what that's called. Ask your parents. They're way smarter than I am. Okay, so let's finish off uh, a, let's give him the top of his head, right? So here we go. And he's gotta be able to hear stuff, so we're gonna give him some ears. We'll give him some pointy ears. All right, so these aren't real ears. We're just doing a kind of a cartoon caricature of orcs, so that's not real ear uh, anatomy. And I wouldn't know what that is anyway. So the second ear, so kind of like with this busted off tusk, Let's give him a chopped ear. Boom, he got in some big old terrible fight with something and it took a tusk and it took an ear. But our boy's still here, isn't he? So I wonder what the other guy looks like. So now we're gonna do the lower jaw. Let's do, give him a bottom lip here. Boop, boop. And I realize I'm going kind of fast, but you guys can slow it down. You can pause it. You can do whatever you want with it. Okay, so now this is the fun part. We're gonna give him some cool big old sideburns and mutton chops. And these are basically just doing little lightning bolt type shapes. You can get fun with it and all that sort of thing. Let's do it over here too. Thunder Chops, that's a good name for a band. Or a nice uh, barbecue restaurant. All right, so this, we gotta give him a chin here, right? We need the, the neck needs to attach to something. All right, so there we go. There's some basic orc stuff. now. We're not gonna completely uh, go away without adding a cool little ponytail on this guy's head. And this is, check it out. So he's got his hair all shaved on the side and he's got this little tuft of ponytail. Now, so we got the basic stuff down. Now we're gonna add a little bit more detail. So we want this guy, remember I was saying he got in a battle, he lost his ear, he lost his tusk. Well, let's go ahead and have them, uh, you know, getting this eye scarred up over here. Boom, so we can kind of make this look a little bit, like he, he'll still have an eyeball there. It's just kind of weird looking. It's kind of kind of a half a half dead stare or something. Uh, with this guy, we'll just give him a normal eye. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now let's give this guy some eyebrows too. So his eyes have some shade. This guy will have eyebrow over here that's kind of kind of chopped a little bit. Uh, we want to give this guy like a little bit more angry, evil, uh, stare, so let's darken in this eye a little bit, yeah. Give it a little bit of, little lines around it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and shade that in a little bit. 
Okay, I'm going to also shade in the nostrils too. All right, we'll do some of that with the ears as well. So you had the base work. Now, now I'm just kind of noodling and having fun. And this is where a lot of the fun comes from in creating artwork, right? So you just kind of have your finished picture and now you just kind of keep adding little bits to it. And I, I know I'm probably going too fast, um, but I, I, I'm having fun, sorry. <laughs> so we'll add some little stubble on his chinny chin chin. You know, they're not really known for their fine shaving apparel in Azeroth, or at least uh, not on the Horde side. I guess the dwarves, they don't really do shaving very much either. You know, we'll probably have to draw an orc after, or a dwarf after this, what do you say? All right, so here's the orc. I'll give him like he's like snarling a little bit. All right, let's get him some more little shadows under his eyes. All right, and what you can do is you can keep, you know, just drawing around on this for a while, and then uh, what you'll have is a nice finished piece, or you don't have to noodle on it as long as I did, uh, and you'll have a nice fun sketch. Now, the cool thing about this is you can color this in afterwards with anything you want, and I think, yeah, I think we'll finish up with this orc, he seems to be done enough, huh? All right, now the last thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that you sign your picture, right? So when you sign your name, use a name, use your real name, use a made up name, just do something that people can see. You don't wanna do a, a, a signature that's like a squiggle, you know, or some kind of weird symbol because people will go, hey, I love that picture by that weird symbol person. No, no one's gonna know that. They're gonna say, oh, I love that picture because it's Samwise, or whatever name you guys choose. Samwise is not my real name. My name's Sam, but my name is Samwise. Uh, my buddies gave it to me because they saw my feet and I have hairy feet like a hobbit. And if you don't know what a hobbit is, you should check out some of the Lord of the Rings movies uh, or The Hobbit or the animated one. Uh, came out in the 70s, that was great. And then give a date and then boom, there's your image. So, all right, well thanks a lot for sticking through my first art tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll do a dwarf one next. So I'm gonna be signing off now. Uh, take it easy, we'll talk to you soon.